Hey there Milwaukee scholars, Mr. Kirkconnell here. As you can see, I am on another hiking trip. I am bringing you your music lessons from the top of Mount Hala. So it's going to be a good one. Let's turn the page and see what we got. First thing we have today, we've got a bit of a visual exploration of musical variations. Now what do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and find out. Go ahead, click on the link in the description, and we will see our first experiment. First thing you can do, you can choose what instruments you're going to hear. We're going to be using the music of Felix Mendelssohn and A Midsummer Night's Dream. That's a pretty famous uh, musical drama that he wrote. So first, we're going to go with the strings. I think that sounds best to me, but you can choose whatever you want. So like I said, I prefer the strings. Let's go ahead and choose that. So now, as you can see, you just drag this little dot around and you can explore the music. If you go lower, you'll only hear lower instruments and the music will be softer. As you drag it up, it will become more intense. Over on the left side, it will be a little calmer and over on the right side, it will be more busy. Let's just go ahead and listen a little bit. Okay, so that's basically how it works. As you can see down here in this corner, it's actually going to show you what path you took after you let go of the mouse. And you can explore the options up here. You can choose different instruments. Sounds like the music is pretty much the same. It's just the sounds that you're hearing. You can also toggle between day and night. Go ahead and tell me what do you think is the difference between the day and night mode. Go ahead and write that in your exit ticket and I'll see you in the next part of this lesson. For our second activity, we've got another nice short and sweet activity. Go ahead and go to it. You can find the link in the description or for this one, you can just follow along with me and that might be all you need. This activity is going to make us think about the connection between what we see and what we hear. You all know that movies have soundtracks, things like that, but I bet you probably haven't thought about just how much of a difference that soundtrack can make to you. So here, we've got a short video, and we've got three different soundtracks to go along with it. I want you to think how does this music affect the way I see the movie? Put another way, I want you, because this is a pretty short clip, I want you to try to imagine what kind of situation is happening right now. What's going on? Why is the music this way? What feeling does it give me? What do I think is happening? What do I think will happen next? Let's go ahead and see what's up. So it's going to just repeat over and over. If you want to listen to it again and watch it, you can go ahead and go to the site. But just think, what kind of situation is going on there? Why does the music sound that way? And what's, like, what are they driving to? What's going on? I want you to put that in the exit ticket. Next, let's see letter B.
Okay, so that's the second one. I think that was quite different. If you think about this one fresh, you probably will get some totally different ideas about what might be going on in this scene. Why is he driving? What's going on? Go ahead, maybe take a break in between them if you're having trouble kind of clearing your head. But after you've had a chance to do that, go put your thoughts in the exit ticket. And the last one. Okay, that was the third one. I bet that one also gave you some pretty different feelings. Go ahead, think about what might be going on in the scene now and put it in the exit ticket. Also, go ahead and tell me which piece of music did you like the best, A, B, or C? I look forward to hearing your thoughts and ideas on that. Have a great weekend.